Hi guys, welcome to another episode of SCN. On today's show, we're going to be dispelling six common myths. And to end off with, as always, we've got a couple of funny videos highlighting some parking myths. Now, the old myth about buying a car from a little old lady, that myth is absolutely false. A lot of people love to buy cars from a little old lady, one previous owner, one careful owner, you've heard all of those descriptions. For my money, I've got to tell you, that's not the car I would be buying. The problem buying a car from a little old lady from new is the fact that she's never properly put the car through its paces. So the engine's probably never been properly worn in. I hasten to add it's probably had one or two gears in its time. It hasn't gone all the way through the gearbox. So for my money, not the car to buy. Bear that one. That's myth number one. Myth number two is, and insurance companies love to tell us this all the time, that women are better drivers than men. Now, strictly speaking, when you look at it, when recklessness becomes part of that equation, then certainly women are better drivers than men. Men do tend to be a lot more reckless. So the myth is probably true when insurance companies, as they always do, like to tell you that women are better drivers than men. Take the recklessness out of the equation, and I'll tell you what, I don't know if that's true. Have you seen any woman try to park? So myth number three, 93 octane and 95 octane make a big difference to your car. I've got to tell you not to disappoint you petrol heads out there, but it makes absolutely no difference to the performance of the car that you're probably driving. If you're driving a Bugatti Veyron possibly, but I have to tell you in just your normal sedate saloon, 93, 95 octane, no difference whatsoever to the performance of your car. The fourth myth, and also one that's quite tough to dispel, but I have to tell you, is that SUVs, the big heavy cars, tend to be safer for you than normal passenger cars. Now this is a myth for two reasons. One, SUVs tend to have a higher center of gravity than passenger cars, and as a result will be more inclined to roll in the event of an accident. That's the first thing you need to bear in mind. The second thing about driving a big heavy SUV is big heavy cars are obviously harder to stop. So if you're having an accident, if you're going through the motions of an accident, you're going to stop far faster in a passenger car because of the weight than you are in a heavy SUV. Bear that in mind. The fifth myth, and one to dispel at this time of the year, is that warming your car up in the morning is good for it before you set off on any kind of journey. I've got to tell you that really is a myth, and I'm sure a lot of people out there have already experienced this. Warming your car up makes absolutely no difference to the performance of your car. Getting in and driving like a maniac from the first second obviously would harm your engine, but getting in, starting it up, and starting your journey will naturally warm the engine up anyway, and get you to your destination four or five minutes quicker than you sitting in your lounge watching your car burning gas in the garage. So dispel that myth. The other thing, and myth number six, which is one you hear a lot about, map reading. This is another one of those contentious issues that everybody likes to talk about over dinner parties. Women are terrible map readers. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that in such a belligerent light, but what I am saying is this, women cannot map read as effectively as men. It's something to do with spatial awareness. I certainly don't want to start a sexist war. However, men are better map readers than women. On the upside, women have got better memories than men, believe this or not, and they can find their way back to a destination better than a man. But when it comes to reading a map, ladies, I'm sorry, it's all about us men. Now, talking about myths, check out these parking myths and tell me if you can spot a guy in any one of these cars. See what I mean? Not one self-respecting male got out of any one of those cars. Thanks for watching guys. Check out the original videos on the links below. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Nick, it's been real, we'll see you soon.
Radio. Radio.